Once upon a time, there was a griffin named Virtus. One day, while flying, Virtus felt weakened. He flew into the strange land known as the Land of Hope and became unable to fly any further. He landed and continued to walk, and on his journey he found unicorns, toads, and fairies turned into solid stone lying on the side of the road. He could not understand the reason for this graveyard of mythical creatures. Mother, why is ye animal so close to the tower yonder? I have no idea, my boy, so stay away and get your father to notify the knight. Virtus now knew the land of hope was no longer safe. That day, the king was notified of the impervious mythical creature so close to the castle. You're telling me that one little griffin has gotten past my tower's spell? Yes, this is what I'm telling you, King Dylan. Should I go and take care of it? Yes, of course you should take care of this. And make sure you take care of this griffin. We do not know of his powers, so kill at all costs. It will be done, sir. Later that day, Virtus ran as fast as he could as the king's knights chased him, sending spears flying past his head. Virtus took flight to escape his attackers and search for the wise owl in the dark forest. As Virtus looked back at the land of hope, he saw the strange tower grow to be twice its size. When Virtus reached the dark forest, he tried to cross the river when he heard the lullaby of the river phoenix. Who is it that dare cross my path? I said, who is it that wishes to cross my river? Tis Virtus the Griffin. I have come to visit Lucia, the Owl of Wisdom, for the land of hope is in great danger. I'm afraid I will not be able to let that happen. Virtus decided to no longer try to please the phoenix and began to wade across the river. As Virtus crossed the river, the phoenix sang a high-pitched note, and the river engulfed in flames. Virtus was trapped in the river, but in the last minute was able to escape to the sky, leaving the phoenix behind. Finally, Virtus reached the wise owl. Lucilia, the wise owl of these dark forests, I have come for your help and guidance. What is the problem, my child? The land of hope has been conquered by the king, who is building a tower which turns all mythical things in the land to stone. What can I do to save them? Yes, I, I see your trouble, my dear. You need to take this orb back to the land of hope. I cannot tell you when or how to use it, but you will know. You will know when. Thank you, wise one. I am sure all will be grateful. Invertus left the wise owl to return and save the land of hope. He took the long journey back to the Land of Hope, and with the magical orb in his paws, he was able to fly directly into the tower windows. Virtus crashed through the glass, hoping to surprise the king, who thought his knights had killed the beast. King Dylan, I've come with great news. Virtus said, pretending to be one of the king's trusted knights. Yes, yes, and what is that? The good news is that today all mythical creatures and people of the land of hope will soon be free and out of your power. What is this? The king then turned to discover his intruder, the griffin. At that moment, Virtus threw the orb at the king and made a quick escape out the window. Landing in the nearby village, Virtus watched as the tower collapsed evil king inside. When the tower finally fell, hundreds of snakes poured out of the rubble. As the snakes slithered by Virtus, he heard, I will 